Through a highly specialized interface called a membrane inlet, we're letting in small amounts of gas. In this case, gas from bubbles that we capture and transfer while on the sea floor. Here we're looking at data streaming in from a deep sea mass spectrometer that's mounted on the ROV on the sea floor. This mass spectrometer then measures the relative abundance of gases in the seawater and then of course in the bubbles as they're moved past the membrane inlet. Here we're able to see methane quite clearly, but also components of dissolved air such as nitrogen, oxygen, argon, and CO2. Here on the seafloor we see almost instantaneously how much methane is in these bubbles as they emerge and how rapidly they lose that methane as they rise upwards. Along with the mass spectrometer and laser spectrometer on the ROV, we have Byungjin Kim and Su Bumbei, physicists from Texas A&M, using a stereoscopic camera to research these methane bubbles. The stereoscopic image system gives us 3D image data, uh, which means it gives us much more accurate data than single camera system. With this instrument, we are trying to capture high definition and high speed images of bubble and trying to obtain bubble size distribution rise velocity and potential formation of hydrate skin on bubble surface and total flux. We can also find out how the hydrate formation occurs during their rise. Behavior of bubble is different between pure and hydrate coated bubble. So what's unique about this instrument is that it comes with two cameras. For a number of past researchers conducted by other research groups, they have used uh, HD cameras mounted on ROVs, or they have used single camera system. This results in also a measurement uncertainty. We were able to capture images of pure bubbles and hydrate, as well as hydrate formation from pure bubble to hydrate. And this data will be post-processed to validate our simulation model and to study the dynamics and physics of methane bubbles from natural seeps. Mass transfer during and after hydroformation is unclear. And in order to resolve this complex mass transfer mechanism, two questions are whether the bubble surface concentration should represent the solubility of methane gas or methane hydrate. Second, which mass transfer coefficients is more appropriate, clean, dirty, or in between, during and after hydroformation. That's the two questions we are trying to answer during this cruise, and I want to go home is the answers. <laughs>